Attention, it is paramount that prior to operating any Elgin products, that the person performing the work has read and firmly understands the coinciding operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompany this vehicle. If there is any ambiguity or anything that you do not understand regarding the safe operation of this vehicle, do not attempt to operate it. Walk away and contact your immediate supervisor for instructions. It is also important that the appropriate operator's license is applied and all applicable personal protective equipment is used. Always watch this video in its entirety prior to operating associated Elgin equipment. Hello and welcome to wonderful Lake Orion, Michigan, the headquarters of Bell Equipment Company, your connection for Elgin sales, service, parts, and technical support. Today, we're going to discuss the operation of the Elgin Eagle. For a sweep system with variable high dump capabilities and highway transport speeds, look no further than the Elgin Eagle four-wheel mechanical broom sweeper. Eagle sweepers are equipped with a no-jam conveyor or the optional elevator squeegee system, wide sweep path, and an industry-proven variable height lift system. 11-inch of hopper side shift ensures easy dumping. Built on a conventional or cab over commercial chassis, the Elgin Eagle features a dual mode air suspension system, so an operator can go from a solid rear axle for dumping stability to a fully sprung chassis for operator comfort and control during high speed transport. You should always refer to the operator's manual for the daily operating checklist. Let's get acquainted. Provided here are visual markers identifying the components that should be observed during the daily walk around. To save time, your emphasis has been limited on this video. You are encouraged to pause the video at any point to study the items and their locations. The operator console is where it all happens. Here we have the safety icons, water level indicator, LCD display, tachometer, auxiliary engine ignition, and auxiliary engine speed control. Additionally, the hopper up and full indicators, main broom conveyor control, hopper joystick, conveyor height control, the left hand and right hand side broom controls, hopper, beacon and work light switch, main broom and side broom speed controls, and water controls. The principles of operation. Debris is collected and diverted under the vehicle. As the vehicle passes over, the rear main broom diverts the material onto the conveyor which deposits it in the hopper. Water is introduced to minimize dust. The hookup. It's time to add the water. First, install the water filter hand tight and make sure the water drain plug is installed. Next, unravel the fill hose and connect it to the water source. The water will spill out of the top of the tank when it's full. When finished filling, rewind the hose up and place it back in the storage cradle. Start your engine. Start the auxiliary engine and let it idle. Then place the mode switch in the sweep position. Next, turn on the side brooms. Then adjust the side broom angles to five degrees. Adjust the left and right side broom down pressure using the knob shown to raise and lower the brooms. Proper broom pressure is what sets the broom to surface contact pattern. 
The goal is to duplicate the recommended patterns to optimize sweeping performance while minimizing broom wear. Now, place the main broom switch in the on position as shown. This will engage the conveyor and the main broom. Using the control knob, adjust the main broom down pressure to achieve the recommended 4 to 6 inch surface contact pattern as shown here. Again, this will optimize the performance of the broom while minimizing wear. Now turn the engine RPMs up to 2000. If water is being used, turn on the desired zones and adjust the flow accordingly. Ready to roll. Your Eagle is now ready to perform. Remember to adjust your mirrors, turn on the beacons, and always maintain a safety first mindset. Don't go anywhere yet. We still have important special features and cleanup. Let's discuss the hopper. With the auxiliary engine running, place the mode switch in the dump position. Next, move the hopper joystick to the raised position. The hopper has a minimum dump height of 38 inches and a maximum dump height of 10 feet. And can be stopped at any point in between. The hopper should only be raised in areas with a minimum overhead clearance of 15 feet. The material volume of the hopper is 3.3 yards. And the design lift capacity is 10,000 pounds. The hopper can be side shifted to extend the dumping distance away from the sweeper by pressing the hopper shift button. Now move the hopper joystick to the dump position. When all debris has been emptied, move the hopper joystick back to the rollback position. Now shift the hopper back into the parked position. It will extend up to 11 inches. Finally, place the hopper joystick in the lower position. Maintain the joystick position until the door is completely closed. You can stop all water and sweeping components with one touch by simply placing the mode selection switch into the transport position. This is useful for situations such as intersections or relocating to a different job site. Return to the sweep position and all components turn back on to your preferred settings.
When backing up in the sweep mode, the water will stop and the sweeping components will stop and stow for safety reasons and to prevent damage to the sweeping system. They will return when the shift selector is placed back into drive. You can temporarily raise the elevator to go over large debris or items such as tall manhole covers. The Eagle also provides the ability to change the rotational direction of the side rooms. This is useful for throwing gravel back off of a roadway. Time for cleanup. Let's start by removing the debris from the hopper. With the rear engine running, turn the water supply on and reverse the conveyor for not more than 15 seconds to flush out debris. Finally, thoroughly clean out the hopper and wash down the entire sweeper. You have chosen the best, Bell Equipment Company. For sales, service, parts, and rental, call 248-370-0000. Serving Michigan and Ohio, contact us at marketing at bellequip.com.